Hi, Scorpio. It's Jeffrey. Uh, it's red color. This is your reading for the week of September. <laughs> I always mess it up at least once. November 20th through the 27th. Actually, a very easy number to remember. I usually write it down, and I didn't. And it's like, okay, even if I write it down, I make a mistake, so it's okay. All right. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. I also offer IET, which is a way you can transform energy. As per I, a, few, a few weeks ago, I think it started raining during the Scorpio reading, and it just started raining. And um, I'm spending the night in it. It's at night. I was trying to do them during the day, but it's been a long day, and it just... Uh, things are not as I planned. And I think that's part of the message because I could get into like the long and short of it, but it's so frustrating. I'll make myself frustrated again. I've been trying to accomplish task today, kind of all day, and it hasn't really worked out. And then I was on my way home and it's there was a few I knew it was going to rain. Uh, and all the vendors knew too because they were closing up. And um, it's like, you know what? I'm just going home. All the other things that I wanted to do, like I didn't really get much accomplished today. And you know what? I didn't get much accomplished today. Sometimes you just have to go at it another day. I cannot tell you how many times I have had to contact Google Maps with a little button that says, this place does not exist. Third time, like within, I think since I'm here, you know, since I got back. So, and then, you know, when I was walking home, there are a lot of blind people in the neighborhood and there are a lot of people um, missing limbs, a lot. And I, you know, it, it sort of puts this perspective on, I'm living a really good life. I'm living a really good life. Yes, I have frustrations and yes, I have problems. And yes, you know, things don't always go the way I want them to many times. And I could get crazy, which I sort of was this afternoon, but it's like, put it in perspective. Put it in perspective. Thanksgiving. All right. So it's raining. Makes me happy, actually. <laughs> New York, I hate rain. <laughs> but here, you know, it's like toward the end of the rainy season. So it's like a little extra rain is good. It also, it helps with the pollution. It's really polluted here. One, two, three. Okay. By the way, uh, if you're a late Scorpio, happy birthday. If you're the 20th, 21st, you know, I didn't forget you. So I have the five, which is change. Interesting. And the death card again so the transformation you know i'd love to tell you my transformation is complete because everybody i saw in new york and everybody that i saw here it's like you don't look different jeffrey because a weight has been lifted but i'm still transforming so for instance um you know i don't have as much cooking stuff as i'd like um because i kind of left up my whole kitchen in new york and it's like, I don't know if I want to cook. I don't know if cooking is going to be, be a big part of my life here. Um, I, don't, I want to get a washing machine, but I've been taking it out and I really like taking it out. I really hate doing laundry. And it's like, I don't know if I will get a washing machine. Uh, I don't know. Like, there's a lot I don't know. And that's what the transformation is. When you're establishing something new, right? Because that's what he's about. He's about establishing something new, waiting for the direction from heaven, right? And then we have the complete transformation, which is a process. You know, it doesn't, you know, you don't just wake up one day and you have long blonde hair. And then I have Archangel Michael. It's like, wait for the messages, wait for the messages and, and that will lead you. And then last night I got home really late and I went to a friend's house and I don't know, it ended up we ended up hanging out for a couple of hours and he gave me these cool legs um, for like a coffee table. So I think I'm going to build a coffee table. Not a middle one. I want to have like ones on all the ends. Like anyway. Um, and I come home and I really had this realization. It's like, you're living a charmed life. 
you're living a charmed life. And I, I, considering where I've been and what I've experienced in my life, I'm in a completely different place. I'm in a completely different place. And I think because of the eclipses in Scorpio and Taurus, um, you might be too, waiting for the messages, okay? And then we have this incredible card, the Hollywood card, which is really about being admired, being beloved, and being supported. And I really feel not only is it the people around you, and it's interesting because like the part of the big transformation with me moving here has been that there there have been relationships that are no longer and some of them were long-term relationships but the other ones that are there are stronger and the ones that i am developing here are full of love they really are they really are so you'll be supported you'll be more supported by the people who are supporting you and the ones who weren't supporting you or no longer support you will just fade away. Someone's making popcorn. I don't really like popcorn. I like the smell, but I, like, <laughs> I don't like popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Ed, check out Tarot Tuesdays with this card. This is, <clears throat> this is about seeing one's own inner light, but really digging. Really digging. And so like what I've been doing with myself is what do I enjoy doing? What do I enjoy eating? You know, I don't have to like fit in to, um, well, this is what everyone is doing. It's like, I don't really care. Um, I don't really care. I haven't really been to many museums and it's fine. I'll get there. I don't really even have a desire right now to make art and that's fine too. You know, if it comes up again, it does. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Like, that's how I feel about it. It's kind of like, really? Like, yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah, you've been looking. Like, this is really so many interior cards. Wow. Wow. I mean, I just want to show you so far. Like, this is really about... Oh, my God. I, you know, this is this is about tradition... And it's about establishment and it's about ritual and, um, you know, anything with columns. So like uh, religion, government, medicine as, a, as an entity, universities, corporations like that, the family, things like that, right? But it's a five and it's change. And his third eye is ignited or her third eye is ignited. And she's going to establish something new, right? because she's been transformed or he's been transformed or both. And then Michael comes in with messages that you're being supported by who you needed to be supported by toward freedom. And you're digging deeper and deeper still as to what is it that I'm gonna give up? You know, what is it that I'm gonna give up in order to see things in a more spiritual light? And, you know, on a lot of levels, what I've chosen to give up is like, getting unnecessarily angry and rageful because it just like, it doesn't really serve me. It just doesn't. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, like I, you know, at the beginning of the reading, I was like, oh, the transformation is complete. And now it's sort of like the transformation has just begun because the death card really is about endings, right? And then, you know, there's a moment like after, like if somebody dies, right? They died, you have the funeral. And then you have to figure out what they meant to you, what you meant to them. And then you have to figure out what they left, you know? So did they leave stuff? Did they leave money? Did they leave hope? Did they leave a letter? You know, it, and that like there's like a process to that in a way, right? And then from that, like with that information, it's like, well, now I have to dig deep into myself to see what, why I was involved with that person, why I had an interaction with them, why, 
and how could I have, I don't know, made it better, made it different, you know, like that. There's like all that going on. And I think that the one who died is ourselves. So there's there's like a period of looking at it and saying, well, I used to think that way because of this and this, and that worked for then, but it doesn't really work for now. So how am I going to change my attitude, my thinking, my actions, my surroundings in this new body I'm in, in this new headspace, in this new place? Isis comes and you know she is really she's either the keeper of the secret or the revealer of the light she's actually both but I think at this moment it's you know this interior what is it that I want to create what is the life that I want to create now that I've been transformed you know because when he's digging right Let's say you're digging, let's say he's like a scholar in, in like this in normal library, right? And he's looking for a specific book. And as he's looking through for that one specific book, he'll come across a few others. I mean, it's sort of like what I went through last week, that it's like, this will be useful. I'm going to keep this. And I'm surprised at some of the books that I kept. And surprised still at some of the ones that I was like, I can't take it with me. It's too big. It's uh, I've seen it before. It's easy to get like that. I took my, I have some dye books. I took a book about color. Um, I took some of my occult books with information because most of my books are informative. Um, and that's it. I took my books on IET. That's it. That's it. But though, you know, as I was looking for the one specific one, that's what I found. And it was like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, toward self-nurturing, toward security, toward practicality, toward nurturing, toward uh, growth. Mm -hmm. Toward healing. Toward healing. And more intuitive, uh, intuitive vision. And freedom. White horses of freedom. There are three white horses in the reading. The horse is also, um, I think the word is a psychopant, a psychopant, which is like one of the animals that lead you into the next uh, realm, right? So, you know, sometimes it's like a certain angel, uh, Charon sort of has that energy in a way. It's like, I'm the one who leads you, right? But there are also animals that have that and, and horses are one of those animals. Dolphins also one of those animals that lead you to the next world. I'm not saying you're gonna die saying, you know, you're in the middle of transformation as I am. And it's time to like move slowly, right? I mean, I've been decorating part really fast, but like move slowly, right? There were all these other things. I wanted to go and get some stuff tonight because I got some foam board, but it's really not good foam board. It's very thin. So I was going to usually use a staple gun and put the scarves, you know, blah, blah, blah. but it's too thin. So I want to get pins and like it's raining. So it's like manana. That's all. All right. Away we go. Archangel Michael's in the house, helping you to transform and form something new that's going to last. You're loved and admired and supported by spirit and by the sense of freedom. You're going deep on the inside and you're realizing what it is that you have to let go for your own benefit because you, you don't have the rooms when you're creating something new toward fertility, toward self-reliance, um, 
toward um, wealth, toward fertility, toward abundance and healing. I'm glad I waited a few minutes because I started the videos and I was like, you are in such a mood. You cannot do the videos right now. So I had to like sit, made a phone call, you know, and then I it was like, get on with it. So, you know, you can accomplish this now. So get on with it. So I did. <laughs> anyway, that is that. Uh, please visit my website and subscribe because I'm going to be offering special deals on my website for readings, for t-shirts, et cetera, et cetera. So please visit my website and subscribe. I'm really trying to build my email list. And I, you know, I'm not one of those, you know, I don't send an email every day. If it's once a month, it's a lot. Anyway, um, that's my story. And uh, God bless you. Blessings.